Hey, this is Open Thoughts, and this is the art guy. All right, so today we're actually going to be sitting down with the up-and-coming artist. His name is Dante Christoph, also one of my personal friends. Chris Rhymes. And, okay, Chris Rhymes. And he's going to be teaching us a little bit about um, certain techniques that we need to um, be aware of when, once we're drawing and understanding our art. Um, you know, brother's very creative. So he's going to explain a little bit about a piece that he's doing, and you know maybe you can get some insight from it and learn something. So uh, let's turn it over to him. All right, so this is the artist right here, Chris Rhymes, and he's going to tell us a little bit about uh, what he does and what he wants to help us on. What's up, everybody? This is Chris, and... What I'm doing is uh, just a picture that's out of my head. I I don't really have the the shading exactly how a picture is, but I'm just going on top of the head and seeing what happens. But the I think the most important thing that um, we need to realize is that you can't mess up when it comes to this type of painting. You know, you can't mess up as long as you have your shading right. And the darker points, like for for example, I know the dark shading will have to be the orange because that's the that's the only color that's standing out. So I know I have to use as much orange as possible. Or if that's the case, I mean, use some red. You know, you have to always colors don't really have to match. It's just like wearing clothes. You you don't have to wear a whole set. You know. There's there's all type of colors that that come with the, one another. You just have to you just have to put it in order. The one thing I did when I first when I first started this painting is was I I put my colors together and I um, was trying to see what was what and what matches with what. Instead of just going for it, I I laid. I laid all this stuff down on a box, on a little pallet, and I was seeing which color would go with what and how it would all come together. You see, you have your white, you have your, your, Amster, wait, no, your Amsterdam acrylic. It's a, uh, what color is this? It's like a, I don't really know. But as you can see, um, it was like a, a baby blue, a white, gold, um, light orange, uh, cadmium yellow, medium, and another white. And you know, I'm going to go over it. I'm going to finish the painting. And if I feel some other things needs to be highlighted and much darker, I'll add some red in here. You know, let's see. I'm going to start off by using some of this pink in here. As you can see, I can, I'm not doing any eyes, so, you know, you, you make what you want to make. It's all, it's, it's going to come out nice no matter how you, no matter how people see it, because it's all on your, on your point of view. And me, I'm just, I'm just going with it. You know, I feel like I can't mess up. And that's one thing you need to know as an artist. I mean, when you're painting, don't be afraid to to step out and do something that you 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 think might not work because it just may happen. You know. <laughs> oh man, we got him on this one, man. This one. <laughs> I did expect this shit. Oh man. Yeah. 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 This is a celebration. This is a celebration. This is a celebration. <laughs>